Coming up this week on The Choice. Well, we've made it on two of our flights so far. It's 3 o'clock Alaska time, which is 6 o'clock Illinois time. We've been up since 3 a.m. Illinois time. Our next flight's not until 4.50 Alaska time, which is 7.50 at home. We're going to be exhausted by the time we get there. The good thing is we don't fly into camp until tomorrow. Now we got to hope that our luggage makes it here so we can check it in on Penn Air for our next flight up to Antioch to go meet Wade, Renfro, and the guys and go bear hunting. The choice begins right now. This week's choice. You know, Vicky, a lot of people, today's, I guess today's society is reality. Reality TV, reality this, reality that. Everyone wants to see what's happening, what kind of bugs you're going to eat. Right, and the big thing is, or yeah, what, yeah, we won't go <laughs> there. But truly, most hunting shows and fishing shows aren't true reality. Because there's a lot of times that you go on an adventure or a hunt, right. and things don't go the way as planned. And then you never get to see that footage. Yep. Well, this week's show is totally reality at its best. Yep, we went up to Renfro's Alaskan Adventures and we went brown bear hunting for the second time with Wade. Yep, it was Vicky's turn. It was my turn and mm. we have a reality show. Yes ma'am, <laughs> a total reality. What things could go right and what things could go wrong. Weather, bugs, you name it, we had it. Um, we also need to let you guys know, lucky logo this week is Scent Lock. So if you see the Scent Lock logo, logo stuck somewhere, hmm. We'll tell you at the end of the show what to do with it. So, let's get into reality Alaskan style. Well, first night up here at base camp, we are reloading everything, making sure everything is packed up a better way. Smaller bags, what we don't need to take with, like clothes that we need to wear home. They don't need to go out in the field with us. Um, as you can tell, there's a storm coming in behind me. We'll see, we're not gonna get to our spike camp tonight. We're gonna end up going out tomorrow, so. We'll just keep chugging along. That's what happens when you go on wilderness hunts. You gotta be ready for anything and remember not to hurry, 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 hurry. You need to take a deep breath and enjoy the landscape. All right. Up there at Wade's, one of the unique things is that he's got one of those little itty bitty Piper Cubs and we get to fly everywhere. One of the things when you go on a wilderness hunt, you have to remember that you're always, always waiting for the weather and the planes and everything to just be right. We loaded up our planes, we got into the planes. We each got to fly in separately because the bigger plane wouldn't fly us all and land us on the top of the mountain. And finally, three days of traveling, we finally got to camp where we're going to set up camp, set camp up, and got ready to hunt. It is the 26th. We left our house at 3 a.m. the 24th, and we are just now in camp. It's just the way that it goes. It's a wilderness hunt, and we just keep going. The good thing is we are set up. Camp is set up, and we're going to have some dinner and probably go to bed. It's really early, and uh, it rained a whole bunch last night. And now we have to get up and get ready to go. I'm not quite awake yet. <laughs> what day is it? The 28th. Day two of actually being in the field. <clears throat> We're gonna do what we've been doing. We're gonna go to that edge, sit down, Start glassing and look for Mr. Bear coming. We got up this morning to a beautiful day. Well, mm -hmm. somewhat of a beautiful day. We went, we sat over where we sat yesterday for a little bit, and then we climbed back up over on this side. Mm -hmm. On the way over, we got attacked by black flies. I got a bite on my lip. You've got, he's got a big old fat lip. I got a lip that's got a new zip code. So big. <laughs> black flies are definitely something to deal with. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now you can see there's a little swamp going on. <laughs> It feels like it's this big. It looks like Hey, Terry, come on. Let's go again. Come on, another round. Well, it's a little after 7. 
on our second full day here. And we've spotted our first grizzly. He's probably a mile and a half away. And we just have to see what he's gonna do before we can make a plan. Looks like maybe he's finding blueberries or something. Yeah, it looks like he's eating some berries right now. It'd be nice if he fed along that creek to the pond. That'd be really beneficial for us. You got a visual? A second ago, yeah. Okay, he just disappeared. Here, there he is again, to the left of the, of the pine trees? Yep. Yep. Well, you gotta stay tuned because Vicky's getting real close to see what happens. And remember, this is true reality hunting at its best. Welcome back to the choice. You just got marker on my string. Well, what are you gonna do? If you want, don't want it, you do it. I'm watching you put on that new scissor rust because I've never mm -hmm. seen that happen. It's pretty cool. It is pretty Bingo. cool. Bingo! Opens up. That's, that's a pretty darn Well, cool. now let's not waste any more time because you always yell at me for doing that. Exactly. Let's go see. But you are setting up my home. If the Vixter can finish it on this big Alaskan brown bear. It's almost like we're going to have to let him go until he gets to this brown spot here. Yeah. I mean, that's where, like maybe our conversion zone. Because it's, our wind. it's too iffy right now. It's, it's, it's good and then it's bad. It's good and then it's bad. It keeps changing direction. If we can, uh... see now it's bad. But if he stops to eat again, and we can get, we can go right past him and above him. We got him. Thank goodness this is a choice show because I chose to take out my TC. He just went in. It's about eight o'clock right now. About seven o'clock, we spotted a bear. We were sitting up on top of that hillside there and spotted one come out of the, the ravine over there, way yonder. We decided to put a spot stock on him. Yeah. We knew the wind was going to be difficult at best. Yeah, so we, you got you and Ralph, and I, we just kind of discussed everything, and you guys decided we're going to go straight at him. Just made a beeline for him. And do our best for it, and what happened was, is we did our best. We got almost within muzzleloader range. Yeah. The wind shifted, went right to him. He boogied out. You did your good job. You got us out of there to make sure that we weren't in his way any, any way how, right? Yep, and we saw him run over the hill. We saw him go. Getting out of town, change his zip code, so. Which is kind of what I want to do right now, because the bugs are nasty. The bugs are bad. Let's get going. Let's just keep going. I see camps only like a mile and a half. Let's go. Bye, bye. Vic, uh, maybe you need more spray or more scent lock, because uh, I think you stink. Yeah, thanks. You know what? Let's just get into Oliver's hunt. Now we're going to join Oliver Fisher from Canada, our Canadian posse. Our Canadian posse. He's up there with Wade for the second year in a row. And he's going after his brown bear again. Now wait, we should let everybody know that the guide was he filming. had his guide filming. filming. Yeah. So it's a little rough, but the thing is, is it's reality TV. That's right. Hey, it's day two here at uh, Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. Uh, we're in the Killabook Mountains. Uh, just over those mountains over there is uh, the Bering Sea. Wait, what do you think we're going to do today? Well, today I think we'll walk up on top of some of these ridges, sit down where we can glass, where multiple streams converge there with the salmon in them, see what we can come up with. Perfect. So uh, late in the season, the bears are still looking for salmon? and They will be. They're eating berries on the hills. You'll catch them moving up and down the hills from eating berries and down walking the river bottom, still looking for a few last salmon. Perfect. That's great. Let's see what, let's see what happens today. All right. Man, that was cool. <coughs> Woo! Man, my heart's going. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jumping. Good shot. Oh, <laughs> oh man. 
love the long snout on these things. Beautiful animal. Look at, the, look at the teeth, nice and healthy. You got to get up here to Renfro's Alaskan Adventures in the west, western part of Alaska. Scenery, everything else. This is the epitome of what Alaska is all about. And I just shot me my first brown bear. I am so happy about this. Woo! <laughs> Thank you again, Wade. Yep. It's close enough. It's not my bow. It is. Stop. That was right where it was supposed to be. Don't even start. Hey, Oliver, congratulations on your bear. Yeah, buddy, that there you go. Awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, now, you know, you guys don't want to go anywhere because I'm still trying to hunt. Still trying. And how come trying. you, like, took up the whole hunt and I didn't even get to hunt at all? It's just the way it is. Ladies first. And forever, right? Yeah. Always. Shh. Welcome back, Re good choice. Reality. Here's the, th oh, the plane's coming in. The storm's so bad. Don't do this at home. And if you want to show the wind, you have to have hair. Well, what you just saw is coming outside there. They've got this little flat here for air. And what you just saw was the rain hitting our rain fly. This is gonna be a doozy. I don't know if you can hear me over the rain. It is pounding in the back. Wow. We are in a nylon tent. Well, I don't know how strong those winds are out there. This tent's holding up knock on wood pretty darn good. But it is pouring rain. He'll get you through it. It's kind of scary. Hey. And there goes the thunder. Breakfast of champions here. Good morning, Ralph. How are you this morning? Here we are. We weathered the storm. We weathered the storm. What storm? <laughs> the tents are still up. That's bonus. It poured and thundered and lightning. And Terry, our guide, so there's never thunders or lightnings here in Alaska, in the mountains. Never. So I guess we witnessed a first through. Did I say never? Hardly ever. Never? Well, when I saw lightning, you said that might have been the first lightning, so. They've ever seen, so maybe. Maybe. What, we got the Breakfast of Champions going? Yeah. It's a new day. What's it gonna bring us? What's it gonna bring us? Well, we did weather the storm. And now we have to go find some bears. You know we have to we have to have an ambush spot for them. Like we'll we'll never get them in that stuff. So we need to we need to bring them. But he, and that one yesterday was walking right up this way. So yeah, this is good. So we got this whole saddle here, low saddle. We have the one, two. This is. And we can see more water from this angle as well. <clears throat> Got lots of open ground in front of us, all around us. Lots of little crevices and valleys that these animals can hide in. So we have to constantly be searching. And hopefully one will come right out for us. Don't go away, because Vicky and Carrie are around another bear. <laughs> hey, Carrie, how's it going, Terry? You wee. Welcome back to the choice. It's ready. Is it ready? Yep. We are set. Oh, we gotta get my peep in there yet. Yeah. And my kisser. Yeah. Well, we spotted a bear down the bottom, and should we go see how it goes? It's time. It's time. Let's go see dun, how dun, it works. Dun 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 dun. dun. Two hundred yards down to that, two fifteen down to that bush in the clearing. That's good. That's good. I just don't know if he's gonna cross and come on our side or. Terry, we sat all day long and didn't see a bear. We went back to camp. He said, I'm just going to go check over the ridge side and you come running back and say, come on, we're going to make it a long night. Here he 
you saw him down over in this creek bottom. We're trying to run after him. It's oops, sorry. It's almost ten o'clock. But he's walking away. What do you think our chances are catching up in light? Camera, slim to none. Slim to none. We probably could. We probably could shoot him tonight. It wouldn't be on film. Yeah, it would be right dark. So I think we'd have to pinch him right at that point before we can make, make it down there and sneak him in and move on. If it was it, he's probably going to cross down here. He's going to cross down here. If it was but it's just 10 o'clock in the morning, we'd be running our butts off right now. He'd be over. Nice critter, anyway. Beautiful critter. Thanks, Terry. Have to do it anymore. We'll try. Maybe he'll want to come back. Yeah. Mosquitoes are coming out again, too. Well, it's our last day of the hunt. We have put in plenty of hours glassing and glassing. I think I'll forever be looking through binoculars. We got close last night. It was starting to get dark, though. So we passed on that bear. We probably could have went after him, but we definitely wouldn't have gotten it on camera. So we passed on him. And we'll just see what happens. It's a nice calm morning. The wind actually changed direction, so maybe that's what we needed. The wind's coming this way this today rather than coming from the northwest. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. This is what we've been dealing with. The fog. It's the last day of the hunt. And it's not like I really need these right now because I can't see anything that I need to see anyway. So I was just cleaning them up and put my eye cups back on. This is, this is part of the wilderness. This is part of, you know what, it's a hunt. It's not a give me, it's not a guarantee. You deal with everything. You deal with the elements, you deal with the hiking, you deal with the mountains. I mean, you deal with whatever God gives you, I guess. So, we sit here in the fog. I know that Ralph's felt this way most of his life, kind of in the fog. <laughs> but... <laughs> We went all the way down the bottom, came all the way back up on the next ravine, next ridge over. Um, didn't see anything, it started to rain, the wind was still blowing, and we've just decided to call it the end. <laughs> so, we hiked back up, we're sweating our butts off. It's chilly outside and damp outside, but sweating just from hiking so much. And um, that's it, now we gotta clean up camp. Actually, we have some time, I don't think Wade's gonna come until I want to say he said mid-afternoon, like hopefully Hopefully he'll be able to come in. I'm so pretty, oh so pretty, I'm so pretty and witty and tired. and tired. You know, the weather can play mental games on everybody. We've been packed up and ready to go for since, um, oh, what would you say, 3.30? 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, three, three, no, it's probably closer to 3.30. Yeah. Laying here, just kind of waiting, 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 and realize that it's 7.30, and there's no way he's coming now. And with the rain and the wind, it's just not going to happen. So, we already put away our cots. We're going to have to put our cots back together because we're stuck here. Which means we're going to have to call Penair and change our flight tomorrow. Probably from noon to 6, I think it's 6 o'clock or 6.50 flight because I don't know if we're going to get out in the morning. I love the weather. <sighs> Well, you know, for the first time in a lot of years, we did something we've never done, and that is actually show a show that you or I really weren't successful on the hunt. We were successful on the hunt. We weren't successful with tagging no, a critter. But that's reality. But it was a great hunt. Oh that my is gosh. true and reality. Between the weather and then the dealing with a camera when you're going on a hunt. Oh. That's the other thing is we... How many of you film out there? Maybe you film your buddy or your relative or, or even your wife sometimes. And, you know, that camera shuts that about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. It gets darker before... Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So, and yes, I really want a brown bear. And I'll go back again. We're going back next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you, you saw the Scentlock logo, you need to go on to thechoicetv.com. Click on that lucky logo button and um, fill out the information and someone is going to win a pile of Scentlock gear. You know, every year we go up there with Wade is we, we got to bring, if you are interested in fishing. Yes, holy. he's got a great called Tick Chick Adventures and I, I you can't believe awesome fishing, trout, salmon, pristine wilderness, car, it's loaded, he's loaded. All kinds of great fishing too. So we just want to mention that real quick. I mean, even Vicky could catch fish. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Sure. 
We sure hope you enjoyed this reality of the choice in true wilderness hunting. And thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you next week. <laughs> Bye.